Spread your wings, Suna. Blistering fool, we were attacked as well. You live here because you took our land! I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep, without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings. But I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan, led by a Dane called Ruid, attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the hold-up? The hold-up? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. There's smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. They will attack on sight here. Big-faced cards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. Thank you. 
Ruid's clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. This place is heavily guarded.
って
sends a twisted Seder on the air. A poor victim of someone's fury. others speak not for yours unless you tempt me liar, liar liar you will join them all the unkind dead now i open the scars of my heart Seder, you sing troll breathe deeply watch as i become smoke and listen as i break your bones Raise the glass in odin's hall Another war begins. An unjust fate has befallen this one. Always the maddest! Possible. Always the maddest. And too wild. Draugr! Draugr! Now my blood screams! <laughs> A scream! I shall quiet! A greater darkness fuels my rage! Spirit of my father's rage, fill me! Wreathed in flame, but not a fire. How can this be? Thank <laughs> you. 
maddest!
Some coins have been taken from me. Green footprints. Baby child. What's this? There's something odd going on in these woods. You live here. Where are your parents? Questions, questions. Those can wait. Let's go up first. Welcome to St. Martin's Land, weary traveler. I thought we got away, sis. Your hands and feet are swift, children, but your stealth needs work. Ah, oh, we were close. We will give you what we took, Traveler. But first, you must listen to our story. <clears throat> Once, a long, long time ago, in a faraway land, there was a sister. And a brother. I was getting there. But yes, and a brother. They lived happily in the land of St. Martin, all by themselves, with delicious beans. Lots and lots of beans, and cake! But now, life is harder. There are no more beans or cake, and we have to take what is not ours. We're not bad children, just hungry. Sorry, Large Walker. There's no shame in surviving, and there's nothing you should not do for family. You're wise, Large Walker. Here, take my silver. You are going to anyway. Buy what you need. Only steal if you cannot afford it. Thank you. But I do not think we deserve this. You don't deserve to live this way either. Spend the silver wisely. Here, large walker. A necklace? Yes, it's a St. Martin seal. You're welcome here anytime, large walker. You're one of us now. Visit us, okay? I will. Take care now, small green walkers. Would be nice to have some cake, sister. I must be careful now.
Something is wrong. Foul. Curse it. healthy-seeming town, as Oswald has done well for himself. Oswald! Where's this dinner you promised me? Eivor! You came! Dinner will still be served, but I'm afraid you are too early. My intended and her family are not ready. This intended of yours, Oswald? Who is she? One of love? Or politics? Her name is Valdis, and people don't marry for love these days, Eivor. This is an arrangement for East Anglia's benefit. She's from a Dane family whose military might is not to be trifled with, but her brothers, their motives are selfish. Why don't you ever look around and come back later? Dinner will not disappoint. Look there. Alone Dane. You can't force that. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. What can I get for you? This could be very useful. Seems like you're expecting trouble. Always bring the strangest thing, nothing else. I have to go. See you soon.
Survey the area, Sunan. Ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I ask you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Vinir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Brode, and to my lovely bride-to-be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands her. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that The is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowned the throne. It's made of less wood than uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face. So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. That's it. She called us flaccid. Limp, weak, soft.
Stop! All of you! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Show me what lies ahead. Ah, good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move of a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Stuart Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Pinner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir the Hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Um, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. <laughs> oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur... You'll be raven flock food, but your brain's soaked in mead and your... Head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! 
Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You? Not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Hit him back and make it personal. Attack his mother. When you crawled from the womb, you were ugly and lame. Your poor mother, she fainted away from the shame. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamped words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. As a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finir wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said... I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly.
Best not to draw attention here. Shall I know where, son? <laughs> <laughs> 